We collected 300 stories from people who survived the horror of the war. Each story is presented by an object, which we take from these people and sink it into epoxy resin. We sell this art object at the auction so that people all over the world could opt in, helping children and military men who were harmed and affected during the war. So here's what happens. Our team goes on expeditions to the deoccupied areas, cities and towns, which suffered considerable damages and were ruined during the war, and communicate with the people out there collecting our stories and taking artifacts. When I first heard about the project with artifacts, I immediately realized Finally, we found the task which was a perfect fit for our studio. At the beginning, there was some confusion about the whole process, how to approach it. We had issues with epoxy resin. We did not have the proper kind. We did not have anyone, or rather we did not know who to ask for advice, what to do in such a situation due to the scope of the project and the problems with the big size of the cubes. We take the resin, weigh the hardener, thoroughly mix them, vacuum process to take away the excessive air, filter the resin pouring into the frame of the cube to be, sink the artifact and vacuum process again, if it is possible. We created a museum of tangibles. You can get the object, touch it, look at it, put it somewhere. It is like amber with a fossil inside. The difference is it's controllably created, not natural. All staff felt so exhilarated. Despite a long period of experiments and search for materials, testing technologies, the team got inspired and enjoyed every step. The most rewarding thing is that it is a charity project. As we all remember, at the beginning of the war, Ukraine was given three days, maximum a week. The whole world, as well as the majority of Ukrainians, could not comprehend how we managed to withstand. It is our project that through each cube, story, small household thing, explains the phenomenon of the Ukrainian people and the phenomenon why Ukraine could withstand. For me, the project is about transformation. When even such tragic stories can get a second life and transform into good deeds. <laughs>